Hey everyone, welcome to Food Tabulous. Today we are making ham balls. And as you can see here, I got all my ingredients set out, which you will get later. So, let's get started. First, we're going to slightly beat eggs in a large bowl. Okie doke. So we're going to add the graham crackers, some milk, and all the meats to the egg. Now we're going to add the ground ham. An order really doesn't matter on this, so as long as you got everything in the bowl, it smells good. Everything smells good. Cooking smells good. This is ground sausage. Okay. Let me take this out of there. There we are. Go in there. Okay, now for the ground beef. Don't forget the ground beef. Okay, in this uh, packaging here. <laughs> Um, so, <laughs> some ground beef here. <laughs> Don't cut yourself. Nice way to open it. Thanks. Check this out. Check this out. Ready? It's a lot of meat. Yep. They're ham balls made of meat. So now we will add milk. See? Milk. The struggle. <laughs> Ow! Okay. Alright. <laughs> Ta-da! We want one cup of milk. Hands clean. I've washed them. You want to mix for a good five minutes. All right, we are done with the mixing. Practice good cleansliness. Cleansliness. That is a word that I just created. Cleansliness. Alright, now we are going to leave that there. Nice and mixed. Now we're going to make the sauce. The tomato soup. Then we pour in our vinegar. This is white vinegar. Three fourths of a cup. Then we're going to add in the brown sugar. Great job, Austin, on your measuring. <laughs> I believe one cup. One half and one fourth equals one and three fourths cup. Wow. <laughs> now I'm adding two teaspoons of dry mustard. And now we will mix. And this will smell absolutely preposterous. Make sure you get all that dry mustard. Doesn't like to mix in very well. Speed helps. Just don't make a mess. So it should like look like a, a, a liquidy barbecue sauce type, and uh, that'll be good. We're gonna preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Okay, we're going to take the sauce and put it in here, set the timer for 15 minutes. 
So now we're going to pour some of the simmered sauce on the bottom of the pan. Okay, so now we have it at the bottom. And we're going to start the scoopage. So we'll get this into a nice thick ball. See how I didn't, I didn't really pay attention to the size of the scoop, just kind of want it to be a nice ball. So with the size of my scoop, you should be able to get five. Start to get the groove of this after a while. All right, so we got an entire pan of hand balls. Now, once you've done that, you're going to take the handy dandy sauce and pour over the top. Just lightly pour it. And I made a lot of sauce, so you guys can maybe shorten your recipe if you want to, but the sauce I think is the best part. Okay, so now we are going to take this to our preheated oven. It's nice and heavy. Is this it? You are my slave. Put it in. Bazam. And now we are going to let it cook for an hour. <clears throat> Ham balls. All right. Don't touch the sides of the ovens. All right. So, we have our ham balls. Ta-da! How's it taste, Steven? Food tabulous. How about you, Mom? Yum, yum. <clears throat> it's very good. <clears throat> Food tabulous. There ya go. <laughs> Did you know about ham? Naturally, lean ham comes from the hind legs of the hog. That's right here. The curing process gives ham its unique briny flavor. The term fresh ham comes from the meaning of ham not being cured. The old myth goes ham from the left leg is more flavorable than ham from the right leg. What's the story behind this fable? Hogs use their right legs to scratch themselves, enabling the right leg to get more exercise. Therefore, the left leg will be more tender. Chicago artist Dwight Kalb made a statue of Madonna out of 180 pounds of ham. Is that guy nuts? Mmm, <laughs> ham balls.